Chris Cyborg. All right, here's one of the best to ever do it. Chris Cyborg, the former UFC women's featherweight champion, and her focus is entirely on getting that belt back. Tonight figures to be another step in that direction. I've never seen anyone more dominant, regardless of men, women. Chris Cyborg had an ability to make people just quit. The power, the aggressiveness, the ability to get in your face, make you work and make you uncomfortable is second to none. She is such a dominant physical presence that most people are beaten before they even step in the octagon. She finally stepped into the octagon for the first time in 2016, won five consecutive fights, including the world title before running into Amanda Nunes. Chris Cyborg, though, back tonight and a picture of focus in advance of this one. All right, so here's the former UFC strawweight champion, Ioana Jacek, for a while there as she dominated all of the top contenders. You wondered if there was ever going to be someone who could solve Yeon Jacek at 115 pounds. Still most believe she's the best striker in this division. She's one of the best strikers across all divisions in the UFC, regardless of gender. Very fast, very durable, very tough, but also Ioana Yeon Jacek and her attitude is what I believe carries her to be most successful. She has this mentality that she believes she is just the absolute best in this division, and you saw it when she was on that long championship reign. And she has been someone who's really maximized some big pay-per-view showcases. She was on the Ronda Rousey Holly home card at UFC 193, fought alongside Conor McGregor at UFC 205. She has the it factor and then some. Joanna Champion is back tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introduce her first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Chris Cyborg. And now introducing her opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yachechek. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go with round one, two decorated strikers here. And I would think even a world-class wrestler like yourself still enjoys a classic stand-up affair like this every now and then. Oh, yeah, I love this. I love this one because both of these women know that the easiest way to get their hands raised is to fight in the area that they are best. Both of them are fantastic strikers. One is much more powerful. One is much more quick. Let's see who gets the job done. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Get the turnover in that kick. Ooh. Oh! That right hand hurt. Oh, nice combination. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Nice, good. Keep that pressure. They're about to break. Real sneaky body kick. Beautiful punch. Cyborg 
Rollins overhand punch to the head. Looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. And they separate. Nice land there with the right punch. Easy to see why that is your weapon of choice. Great right hand. Nice land. Oh, that's a hell of a kick fire there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Jacek. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna, gonna be the underhook. The under of all the things, position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Real quick leg kick. Good punch land. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Oh, and there's another leg kick. Just out, right? I mean, now she has sort of rendered her opponent, as you see the damage, uh, a one-legged fight. She is fighting a one-legged fighter, a wounded gazelle right in front of a right. lion. That is not a great position to be. Some nice back-and-forth action here. Oh! Oh! They're going at it now. She's back in the clinch. Oh, the right there. This could be the end. She landed a massive cover. That first part played very, very bad. All right, so a huge moment for her in that previous round, DC, as we show you some of the highlights. The knockdown nearly closed the show for her. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the knockdown because it looked like the fight was over. Now, is her opponent tough? Yes, but is her opponent smart enough to make the necessary adjustment as this fight goes forward? You ready? You ready? Go for it. That's a big strike right there. That that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Wow! Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll. This fight moves on. Right punches there. Big kick. Straight right hand, but she misses. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Yeon Jaicha. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort. Gets up again here, but Hurton. and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She Ooh. can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! That'll do it!
Well, a seminal moment for her here tonight as she gets the win by TKO. Huge win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Yolanda Yachechan. All right, there she is. Big win by TKO tonight. And really everything she said to us in our...